Hello everyone. I am about to tell you something that you already know, that our life is marked with these crossroads. Uh, when you're 16 and 18 and 21, 25, 30 is a big one, 40 is a real big one, 50, bingo. And these are crossroad moments. Something usually happens that changes the course of your life, or it doesn't happen and your life doesn't change. Let me tell you about, let me, I'm slurring here. What's new? Let me tell you about a situation I had in 1970. I was an extra, and I was with this other fellow, and we were going out on an audition for Woody Allen's Bananas. And they were looking for two muggers. So we went to the location, which was in a subway. Went down there, and I saw Woody Allen standing there with an assistant director. We walked towards him, and the assistant director said, like, stop, don't come any closer. And I said, well, we're here to play the mugger. And Woody Allen, who's very shy, turned to him, whispered something, and then walked away. And the assistant director faced us and said, he doesn't think you're intimidating enough. So, what? You're not intimidating enough. Okay, that's a first. So I basically said, the hell with it. I told my friend, I'm out of here. Halfway up the subway steps and into this throbbing city of New York, hot, muggy, loud, cold, indifferent. He says, don't quit. I said, well, I don't call it quitting. He doesn't want you. It's not like I quit. He goes, well, we have to change his mind. What do you suggest? Let's go into a pharmacy, get some Vaseline, put it on her hair, put it on her face, this and that. We did. We walked back into the subway. It took a little grime, which is in abundance, rubbed it on her face and her hair. I saw Woody Allen in the distance this time. I circumvented. The AD went right up to him, tapped him on the shoulder, spun around, he was startled. And I go, do I intimidate you now? Do I? <laughs> you know, overdoing it. And he goes, okay, it's good, you're good, you're good, like that. And we got the part. And if you ever see bananas, we are there. And at that time, I thought, my God, the clouds have opened up and the sun is shining on me and I got my break. But what I got was a lesson about not quitting. Sometimes quitting is not the, which we've discussed before, it's not the end all of everything, but it's rethinking your entry, your introduction, your strategy. So here's the same person who said no, and we changed a few things, went in with a different attitude and got to part. So the moral of the story is, sometimes you just have to bend and contort and twist and morph into something you didn't expect that was shocking to the person. Like they're normally presented with a normal audition, this and that. You have to change it up. Sometimes you have to kick down a door. Sometimes you climb through a window. Sometimes you just change your presentation. So we went from losers to winners that day. And from that day on, I never accepted the word no. It's always maybe. And you can always change a no if you start to change your approach quite often, your strategy. Anyway, keep punching. Ciao.